Hey, hey, hey. Yes, people. Lots of you loving and feeling that one. I see the fire emojis coming through. So you're locked into the Big Bad Station, arabacradio.com with yours truly, DJ Cat, the Catalyst. And right there we had a very special tune, okay, a tune called I Am. And of course, two great artists featured on that tune, Penology featuring Shifty P. And of course, we've got one of those great artists joining us right here, right now, live and direct. So of course, Penology, you there? Yes, I'm live. What's going on, people? Merry Christmas. Hope everyone's good. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Definitely, definitely. So you just heard the tune? We did. We did. We did hear the tune. I am. And we want to know all about this tune and kind of how it happened, how it came about. Tell us about the vibe, man. So I linked up with um, one of my uncle's friends who is connected to Sean Paul's Dirty Rock label. Okay. So basically, he sent me a few beats. Well, he sent me a lot of beats. And in those beats, there was a few songs, and I Am was one of them. And obviously, I'd just done, I'd not long recorded I Am with Gems from Clear Gem Production, because okay. me and him have just done a, my first EP, which is called The Blacklist. This yeah. is off the second EP, which is called Welcome to the Fourth Floor. Okay. But I'm dropping a double next year. I'm doing a double. I think it's about time I give the people the music. But So from there, um, his name's Anka. Anka then sent that out um, back to, obviously, the producers. They loved it. I got in contact with them and said, let's just do an EP. Um, six, seven, well, there's eight songs on Welcome to the Fourth Floor. Um, it's all reggae, bashment. Um, obviously, it's R&B, hip-hop infused with myself and Shifty P. Um, but there's Turbulences on that album. Um, the EP, sorry. Um, we've got Yasu Safari, who's Garnet Silk's mentor. He's on the. He's just dropped his his EP yeah. um, out on VP Records. And then um, I've got a local artist coming up called Cadia, a okay. female artist. Okay. Yeah, I wanted to keep it authentic. Make sure you know I'm still giving some love back to the Jamaican people because um, when we went out there, they treated us with nothing but kindness and love. So. Yeah. It was all blessings. But yeah, the tune came about. We managed to get the whole EP formalised. I knew straight away when I heard that instrumental, I knew I am. That was the remix. And obviously I called my boy Shifty P because he's like, he's <laughs> like, me and him are like the red man and method man of, of England. Do you know what okay, I mean? Okay. Together. So okay. it was a high energy. Yeah. So it was good to get a, a nice link like that with, with DJ Kareem. And actually he's obviously done stuff with Busy Signal, uh sizzler he's he's doing his thing on that side of the country do you know what yeah, i mean for real i hear that so you know what p knowledge i know you as perry as well but tell us about this journey in music because i know wasn't you a part of tight vibes with my cousin tell us about all this journey and how it kind of came to so, this particular point so so your cousin tight so obviously shout out rebecca name but love you greatest vocal in in coventry city without a doubt um but she she and her, uh, well, this is years back, yeah. um, years, years back, but she and um, Karen, large up Karen Johnson, nothing but love for you, babe. Um, she also, you know, they she could rap, your cousin could sing, so yeah. I kind of formed them together, we formed Tight Vibes, and I used to just produce and write all the songs for them. Obviously, they can both write and sing, but yeah. it was about me incorporating what I've done on my journey and pushing into them so they could breathe a little space and okay. we did we did some tours I took them on tours we did a lot of shows um even for Warwick Warwick University we did a big show down there so yeah I, I've, I've always been pushing artists in in the city from dot a1 and j1 song latest trends was made in my flat do you know like Parcelu like we've we, you know like I, I can't sit here and say I, I helped him but I guided him with the mental of what he needed when he came to me yeah. do you know so I've always helped artists and tried to put them out but I just thought now's the time for me to really really explode in the game because I'm sitting on over 500 songs easy okay. right okay. now easy 
maybe more. So I just want to feed the game now. Yeah, I hear that. So you know, you said you got five five hundred songs. How are you gonna decide? Okay, I'm gonna put this song out, this song out. How are you gonna do that? Do you know what? They're scattered over years. So it's funny you say that because me and my best friend, Jamie, like larger palm, lock stuck on two smoking sounds. We took like 17 people touring around. We did Mob Deep. We did did a few. We did um, Cypress Hill, Demerit, Exhibit. Um, yeah, we, we've done the game. Um, also, Kevin Hudson was also with us around that time. And then obviously he branched out after that. Look where he is now. So yeah. I've always had that influence in the game. But reference to your question... It's kind of mad, the music. When you have so many songs over so many years, it's about the growth. Now, yeah. it's not like when I do get where I need to get, I can't go back to that genre of music and revamp it all up because there's songs that are stamped there, some amazing songs. Yeah. But what I'm doing now, because I feel kind of grown growth experience-wise in the game, what I'm doing now is phenomenal. Like, I have a single that I really want to drop next year. Okay. It's really special. I ain't really spoken to anyone about it, but it's called Keys Keys to My Keys to My Life. Like okay. it's a very good reference for everyone. So these are things that are in the pipeline. Obviously, me and Shifty P have got loads of music coming your way. Obviously, the EPs are still to drop. So yeah, there's videos on deck right now, ready to just press play. So I feel confident. To be honest, I feel confident. I hear that. I hear that. And you know, there's a question that's just come through from a listener. They must know who you are. Is they're talking about Samario and his vocals, and they're asking, are you two ever going to collab, or have you collabed? Do you know what? Me and my bro have never collabed. Obviously, oh, okay. everyone knows my my bro's a great singer. Obviously, there's talent in the family. No, yeah. I ain't gonna kid that. There's even better than me and him. To be honest, there's real talent. Shout out my cousin Carl. Um, but no, nah, we ain't ever done a song. There are songs there. Like I said, I've got a billion songs. Songs that I've written up for my mom. Songs I've written for christenings. Songs I've written for wedding days. So yeah, eventually it will come around. Okay. Maybe maybe in the next ten years because I ain't going nowhere till I'm till I'm at least fifty sixty. You get me? <laughs> okay, okay, I see that. I see that. So you know what? Yeah, when it comes to music, what's inspired you? What's made you want to keep pushing? And because I've seen you do lots of progression from the X Factor to like putting mixes out to having a little break, coming back. So what's pushed you? Um, in my veins, I'll say my granddad. My granddad's blood, like just. It's in my veins. I can't help music. I get up and I think about music. I, I, I can write a song, four or five songs in minutes. Uh, do you know that? Like, I'm so into music and I've had to study who I was as a person to really reflect on what it is of, or not what it is, what it isn't, yeah. <laughs> what I did, but what I didn't. You know, like on my life and what I want to achieve, I've always been in the line of music. And there was a time where I was kept kept from it. And I have to shout out Jams from Clear Gem because he kind of pulled me back. Mm. My kids pulled me back in Corona mm. when I was singing in the kitchen and playing them all the new songs. And they were like, Dad, it's time. So obviously last year I put out this song with Turbulence, Wicked Ways. Um, that's now signed to Funk to See. That's yeah. off of Sony Records. So yeah, like I've put music out. And since then, I wanted to be independent enough to put my own music out. It's not like I've not got the experience yeah, for <clears throat> Excuse real. Me, after over 20 years, you know what I mean? I hear so, that. and I've been told, record labels have told me, you're moving like a record company. Okay. So what do I need you for really? Unless it's money backing or, I know they can really put into me and I'm not disrespecting any label that wants to put in, but it has to be serious because I'm a serious person and I, obviously you can see the, the masterings has to be done properly. The the pictures have to be done properly. That's all us doing that. That's no one else. That's that's our team. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's a it's about building and, and being able to put something out. I'm not saying I wouldn't sign to a label. Of course I would, because if they can put me on a bigger platform that than I can, yeah, which I'm fine with. But just gaining more knowledge that would be for me. That would be going to university. To okay. be honest, do you know like sitting with a label and understanding their mechanisms and how they work and understanding their links and all the contacts and contracts and stuff like that. These are things I know anyway, which I would recommend any artist out there. Make sure you've got your mastering, make sure you've got a performance version, make sure, you know, like you've got to look at what you want to do and art your craft as your, you as a person. And don't go secondhand, you know, like put your foot in the door. 
Yeah. Like top of the top, move professional. That's that's the only thing I can give to artists is move professional. Definitely. So how did you go about doing that? How did you learn? Well, we made a lot of mistakes, you know. Like <laughs> that's how you learn. You make a lot of mistakes. Um, I've always been kind of lucky to have the people around me. So. If anyone needs anyone to do any artwork, just look at SV Designs, that's Sir Venom on any social platform, and that's S I R V E double N O M. He does all my artwork. He's also my official DJ, which is very helpful, and he's one of my closest cousins, if not the closest male wise, you know? So yeah. we're really close that wise. So he does all my artwork, which is fantastic. So I've got easy outlet. I'd say to artists, Find an engineer that you believe in that's going to believe in you, that understands your vocal the way you want it to be, not the way they want it to be, the way you want it to be. Okay. Let them guide you on what they think sounds good, but find that balance. And that's what I, I found. And I've got a large up Nathan, again, um, Plush Studios, I've got to give them their credit because he's helped me all the way, but he understands me mm. and I understand him, do you know, and it's very easy to, for us to work when it's like that. Yeah. Um, so I would say try and find a balance with someone who's a great producer and believes in you fully. Definitely. So with that now, how would you describe yourself as an artist? Because you play across the board, don't you? Yeah, I'm <laughs> eclectic. Yeah. I'm eccentric when it comes to music. Like my kids would tell you, I listen to classical music in my car sometimes. Yeah. Do you know? Like I, I like. I like Pink Floyd, like, money is a crime. You know, like this, this, yeah, I'm very, obviously my, um, as someone who's in the music game from the hip hop culture, yeah. I would have to say it's always been, hip hop's been my main thing. And along the way, I fell in, I fell in love with one of my bedrooms vocals who should have been famous long time, Large Up Damien, giving his props all day. And I kind of based my style, not off of him, but learnt from him, if if anything. And then just listening to music and what I liked. And it took a little while to find what I was looking for in me. Like yeah. I said, I feel confident now over the last 10 years when I think about music. Mm. I feel way, way confident. Because it's not just a singing element. It's like a bashment element mixed with a, a hip-hop element, with an R&B element. So, yeah, I sing, rap, host, compare, act, teach. <laughs> and do and um, engineer um, and production so yeah, yeah I, I mastered my craft i went to college and did h&d and music production very early in my days yeah. i knew what i wanted i knew what i was gonna be i just didn't know how far i could take it and i have taken it to some limits to be in the stars names is and being spoken like yeah. among big peers that i i look up to you know so I do feel very blessed for the journey. For real. And you know, I've seen that you met yeah. Steph London as well at the Mobos, wasn't it? Yeah. How was that? Yeah, the, uh, yeah she kind of, <laughs> yeah, it's funny you say that. Yeah, I'm going to give you some insight now. So obviously, uh, they, they're just in a, uh, an interview, her and Miss Banks. Yeah. And I was talking to DJ Target at the time, which I've known Target for years, like Kavos, like, yeah, but I've known Target for years. So we were talking and I asked him, can we get a picture? And I said, hold on, let me get Steph in it. So I asked her, I said, like, Steph, can you get in this photo with me and Target, please? But the way she looked at me like she wanted to slap money in my face, yeah, <laughs> just for asking. Me. But I think because I was looking so fly that day, penology all over the gear, baby blue, she just was like, oh, okay. So she took the picture and it was all blessed. We just <laughs> caught up on whatnot. You never know. Maybe that's just how she looks. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Maybe, maybe that's just how she looked on that day. Uh, nah, she was looking fire on the. Oh, okay. Don't get it twisted. Okay. I'd, I'd, if I had my way, like me and Steph would go all the way, but you know that's the let her do her thing thing. You know what I mean? Until I, till I get some weight up here. You know what I mean? Okay, okay, okay. So, what do you have planned for in the future? I know you don't want to give too much away, but what would you like to tell the listeners right now? So right now, the video comes out tomorrow at one thirty. You can go on my Facebook and you'll see I've posted a post to the link. I will do that for Instagram shortly and all the other outlets for media wise. Um, but just tag in, go to my YouTube, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. 
you are helping me out the more people that subscribe the more i'm capable to do but after this video goes out secret wise yeah. just because it's you there's a live version okay and just because i've uh, just because i've told certain people this i mean in jamaica my my, my uncle kind of hooked us up with a band that he had already and we we kind of sent them the music and we just had an amazing jam and yeah. it's so hard to touch when i when i when i look back at that on my screen tv i'm like wow just wow so there's a live version of i am to come okay. and then after that me and shifty p are gonna drop a very big song for the new years it's, it's a very deep reggae song it's called one life yeah because we've all only got one life to live out here so we've got to live it to the fullest it's something i always say to all my people so i made it a song um also off of the ep welcome to the fourth floor with dj kareem for real, for real. So with that being said now, I always ask every artist, as you know, would they be up for singing a little something for the people out there? Would you be up for that? Right now? Right now. You can say just one line if you want. You can say a sent, whatever you want to do. You got a beat in the background? No, man, I feel like acapella is going to be your thing. Just straight acapella? Yep. <laughs> On Christmas. Like, yeah. I ain't even, you could have told me I would have lined up the stereo. Oh, and... gosh. Come on now. I know you can do it. I know you can. What do you want me to sing? Well, you can do I Am, your latest release. My latest release. I <laughs> am more than the light, more than the darkness you fear in the night. I am DNA from God with my staff and my rod. I am what it ain't, what it isn't, what I did, did what I did, and I am man of my words. So these herbs empowered to learn. I'm a force to be reckoned with. What you reckon, kid? Better bring your weapon, kid. Mine who did threaten then. I'm a veteran. I gained that you. Yeah. Young black melanin, there goes my pen again. That's the shot from the 45 back of your melon head. Spinning in my court like a snake. Just to get a slice of the cake. I, like DJ, come on, all day for that. Hey. <laughs> what I love for you, so you get me? Every time, every time. So, of course, right. people want to know, first of all, how do they book you? How do they find your music? Tell us about your Instagram, your Facebook, all that good stuff. Let us know. So... My name is P Knowledge. That's P dot N O L O G Y. You can literally put that into Google. I am the only one on the planet. Okay. You can come up with my Instagrams. You can find me on Instagram the same way. You can find me on Facebook the same way. The tune's actually out on Snapchat. So if you go to your Snapchat and you put music in and you tag music on your phone with Facebook or Instagram or Trilla or any of those apps, we're on about. I think six, I think it's about 25, okay. 25 to 60, I think it is. So everywhere, iTunes, Spotify, we've had over 16,000 views on Spotify in its first week on IR. That's good. That's good to hear. So you're raising it. I'll be raising Everybody who's been listening, man, it, it means a lot to me, man. Thank you so much. Definitely. And that comes to the last bit of the interview. What would you like to say to your fans, your listeners, and the people that just support you in general? What would you like to say to them? Have yourself a Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Love out to everybody. Yeah, my birthday is the 26th. That's in two days, so have a drink for me. I hope you all wake up and get something special, no matter who it's from. If you see anybody on the street struggling, Give them a little bit of loving because I think we all need to spread a little more love in 2023. Definitely. Your boy P Knowledge. For real. You know what, Perry, it's always a blessing to speak with you and talk to you about your, your journey and you continue to go on that journey. So we give thanks that you've came on the show, yeah? Thank you, Kat. You're, you, you, DJ Kat, you are an amazing inspiration to the city and you already know we've got major, major love for you. So thank you for having me on the show. Anytime. Just keep doing your thing and make sure it's positive every time. Yeah, man. Done now. Blessings. Blessings. Speak soon. Yeah, man. One, 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 one. Bless up, bless. Yes, people, please do go out there. Go and support P Knowledge. Go and check him out. Go and see what he's been up to, what he's been doing. And right now, as you know, we're going to be playing his tune once again for you. 